All right, time for more Argonaut Weekly here at GoArgos.com. Rob Walden along with Marquise Mathis of the men's basketball team. UWF men's team went down to Orlando on Friday night, opened up against NCAA Division I member UCF and fell by a count of 115 to 61. So Marquise, a tough opener. I know you guys struggled to get going against a, an NCAA Division I opponent. Uh, how do you think you guys played on uh, on Friday night? I know the score wasn't pretty, but there were still some good things that happened for you guys. I think uh, open, overall it was an eye-opener. It told us uh, a lot of things that we needed to, you know what I'm saying, fix in practice. And it um, showed us a lot of mistakes that we had made on the court and mistakes that we can possibly fix on, the, on, on in practice. So um, that's pretty much what we've been doing the past two days in practice. Now, you were here last year but red-shirted, and there really aren't many guys on the roster, Keldrick White and Peter Canole, the only two guys on the roster that played in an active role last season. How do you think you guys are, are meshing together as a team, and do you think that you got a little bit better in that area since you finally have a game under your belt on Friday night? Well, I believe that um, our team is it's going to take a while for us to build some chemistry because we're all new. But uh, at the same time, it's uh, coming together pretty good. So you know, we're actually looking forward to going to Alaska this uh, coming week and um, putting together three games, try to get three Ws. So um, that's pretty much what's on our mind for the, for this week, and that's our mission. Even though you guys, uh, you know, lost uh, by a pretty big margin on Friday night, UCF, a, a very good team, uh, a team that's going to be real competitive in Conference USA. Do you think you can get better by playing a team like that, even though the result maybe isn't what you wanted? Even though the result was a loss, we, we kind of look forward to and we actually were excited to play UCF because it, it gave us a chance to play so a good competition. And um, it showed us, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of mistakes and it showed us a lot of good things that we can put together. So now we're just trying to find the, the, the correct five to, you know what I'm saying, um, Basically, our start, our start lineup. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. You mentioned going to uh, to Alaska this week. It's Arkansas, Fort Smith on Thursday, King, and then uh, Alaska, Fairbanks. Uh, you know, taking basketball out of it for a moment. Uh, there aren't many guys who uh, you know get to take a trip to Alaska and see a part of the country that that most folks never see. What's it like for you guys to get to to make that trip? And I'm sure you guys are looking forward to it a lot. Well, yeah, we are looking forward to it, but a lot of us are complaining about the weather. <laughs> That's always <laughs> going to be cold. Issue. Yeah. Uh, they're saying that the, the weather's going to be um, at 20 degrees and at the, the low is going to be 1. So we're actually not looking forward to the weather, but we're actually looking forward to going down there and playing some basketball. So it's going to be a good trip. And you mentioned three wins are the goal. It'd be nice to come back instead of 0-1 to, to come back with a record of 3-1. Yeah, that, that, that's our goal right now. That's what we're talking about. We're going to go, go up there and get three Ws, no loss. So the Alaska Invitational coming up this weekend for the UWF men's basketball team. They'll take on Arkansas Fort Smith. King and Alaska Fairbanks, and of course you can follow the action right here at GoArtGoes.com.